This is our rotational sports training program. This is a four-phase program where we work anti-rotation, head position, and then we progress into rotary-based exercises, dynamic control of the head, shoulders, hips, and legs. Our first exercise of a rotational sports program is gonna start with a lock neck body turn. So we're gonna have Carrington move the anchor point down slightly so that we can accommodate for the head height so we can get a bit of a knee bend. We'll do this exercise in all four cardinal directions. So we're looking at the anchor point now as north. She's gonna get into a nice athletic base. She'll use her hands as a reference point and she's just gonna turn the body now by turning one hip and opening at the shoulder blade. So everything from the waist up is staying stationary and isometrically working while the hips are working in here. She's got nice and long at the back of the neck with her chin tucked just a bit. So we'll finish this one and we're gonna to turn to your right. We're gonna set our base up all over again, dropping down into a nice athletic stance, weights even on each foot, and she's just looking to turn and turn. Again, staying retracted and working through the hips. She'll look this way now, she'll stand up, she'll turn out this way. We're just staying long in the back of the neck. Shoulders down and back. So this is our last direction here. and We'll be able to see the pivot point on the feet. We can see how the waist stays underneath the shoulder blades. Everything from the waist up is working isometrically, right? And we're adding work underneath. So we'll look to do 10 repetitions, which is a left and a right is one, and we'll do 10 total. Second exercise of phase one of our rotational sports athlete program is gonna be a half kneeling thoracic rotation. We've got Carrington in a half kneeling position, so that's just one knee down, one knee in front. She's gonna anchor with this left glute, the one that's closest to me now, and she's gonna spin through her thoracic spine by squeezing the shoulder blade and taking the head with her. So she's tracking the thumb as she goes around, and she's gonna come back to the middle. Chin's gonna stay down, back of the neck stays really long. So we're working really hard from the waist up here in a pure thoracic rotation. So as she squeezes the shoulder blade, she opens up that thoracic spine as she comes back around. Looking in a different direction now, we've got stabilization on her right side of her neck, challenging the hip in a different way. So now she's gotta open up against this asymmetrical tension. That's good. Back of the neck stays really long and she's gonna squish the shoulder blades together, almost imagining that this other hand out here is sort of pushing forward to give you tension to be able to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Thinking of a row or a pull-up, anything like that where we get both shoulder blades together, we wanna to try to do this here as it opens up a lot of hip and core activation. Now we've got isometric tension on the left side, so this left leg is also working in this hip, and we're working on rotation. So again, if we're looking to swing on a baseball, swing on a golf ball, we're looking to hit a tennis shot, Right, what we want to be able to do is stay stable over our pelvis, rotate and use the power that we have from the foot all the way through to our hands. Exercise three of our first phase of the rotational sport athlete program is going to be a reverse Nordic with an ISO hold. So what Karen is going to do is she's going to look towards the anchor point. That'll keep the eyes and the head oriented and making sure that the iron neck, the band, and resistance point are an anchor point. And then she's going to drop down, keeping the glutes and the hips forward. She's gonna pause there for a one count and come back. So we'll do one more time. Just looking to keep this line right, levering so that the knee, the hip, and the shoulder are all in a perfect line. Big squeeze from behind and locking out. The fourth exercise in our rotational sport athlete program is an isometric hold and a carry with a kettlebell. You can substitute this with a dumbbell or other things that will fit into your hand. So all Karen is gonna do is she's gonna look at the anchor point and hold here. We're gonna go for about a 10 count. But then what we'll do is we'll turn to east, right? So if the anchor point is north, she's gonna turn here. She's looking to keep the shoulders level, the rib cage level, and the waist level, right? So if we're looking at those lines, three parallel lines should be in line the whole time. We'll turn with our back towards it or south. Shoulders are down, hips are level, rib cage is down. Nice, easy breathing in here. And we'll turn one more time with this hand. We would have you switch hands at this point, right? So you would then turn north You'd switch hands with the kettlebell or the dumbbell and you'd work your way back east, south, north, and west. And now that we've gone all the way with the right hand, we're gonna go counterclockwise with the left. So she's gonna hold this in her left hand. She's gonna hold that for a 10 count looking north. She'll then turn towards me. 
in that west direction. Shoulders are level, rib cage is level, waist is level. Again, in and out with the breathing. Four to six breaths or about 10 seconds on the hold. And then we're gonna turn and look south, making sure that the chin stays down, that we stay in that same spot so we get the same amount of resistance all the time from the band. Right, and the last direction is gonna turn one more time. Shoulders are level, chin is down, waist is level. Just making sure that we stay in that good posture and we want to keep this an anti-rotational exercise. The fifth exercise in our rotational sport athlete program is gonna be a diagonal with a Z hold. So as we walk out away from the anchor point, we can keep the chin down, the back of the neck really long, making sure that our ribcage is also down. So to get into the Z hold, we're gonna go into the scarecrow position and we put one arm in internal and one arm in external rotation. So tilt the head to the down, head si down hand side, sorry, and you're gonna draw a diagonal line from that hand to the hand that's on top. Trying to keep the shoulders nice and level, keep the rib cage down, and just looking up and down. To switch sides, we'll come back to the scarecrow. We'll drop the other hand into internal, the other hand into external. We'll tilt to the down hand side, and then draw that diagonal line up. What we're doing here is separating the pieces. We've got one arm in internal, one arm in external. We've got a diagonal and multiplane directional drill here. This will help us get rotation all the way around the top of our hips. It'll also help us keep endurance in our neck and the upper back to keep our head down and allow for things to swing over the top. Whether it's turning on a baseball, whether it's a golf ball, or even an overhead sport like volleyball and uh, tennis, we'll be able to get up into there with minimal compensations. So we'll turn you around this time, looking at the anchor point now, being sure to keep the chin down, right, making sure that we track pretty, pretty tight. We'll go into the scarecrow. We're going to drop one hand in internal, one hand in external, and we'll get a couple of reps, tilting to the downhand side, and then drawing that 45 degree line up to the ceiling and back down to the floor. To switch sides, we go back to the scarecrow position. We drop the opposite arm in internal and external. We're going to tilt and look up. So that's phase one of our rotational sport exercise program. We're looking to get anti-rotational and rotational based movements in order to keep our head position where we want it, be able to turn and open up on things as we need to.